Hello everyone. Thanks for joining in. Uh, today I'm going to discuss more about the app protection policy in Intune. How app protection policy can be used, uh, what are the different use cases of the policies and what are the different platforms we can create app protection policy for, right? So let's jump on to the demo directly and then we can start. So I'll show you how you can create policy and how you can assign it to a group, right? So before that, I wanted to give a bit of uh, details like how and why we should create a protection policy, right? And what are the use cases of that, right? So the first use case would be to target only the applications that are being used by the end users of the company, right? and those applications for example those are the business applications as well as those are the company provided applications to use the data as well as end users are working from different locations be it remote location or office location or any location it doesn't matter only the matters is what when we wanted to protect the data or the applications and we don't care about the device management fully Right, and we don't want to manage a complete device because that's also been considered as uh, the people or the end user says that I don't want my device to be controlled by someone else because it's my device, my personal device, and why should I give device control to someone to manage it? Right, and that that creates a confusion as well as that creates a chaotic problem on end user side. They say that even even if, if they are technical enough, they know the things about the device management and all over about that. But still, they would not agree to let their device to be managed by the company. And they just want their applications or apps or the data that they wanted to use. Uh, they should be able to access it simply on the mobile devices. Right. And even if it it is on the personal computers as well, that also be or that can also be managed using app protection policy. So I'll show you uh, for Windows devices for this video now, but definitely I'm going to make videos on other other uh, topics as well. So other platforms as well. So I'll show you uh, different platforms app protection policy currently. There are four types of app protection policies, which includes iOS, iPadOS, second is Android, third is Windows, and fourth is windows information protection so i'll talk more on windows for this topic of this video now and then uh, so this is basically the policy creation window or the navigation so here you can see the different tabs assigned the tabs and by following each tab you get the different options to set up and configure by creating that policy you would get the clarity or understanding why we should do this as well as what i wanted to achieve out of this policy right so the main purpose of this policy is to protect the application as well as the data which is being accessed utilized and handled by the end users and the data mostly the data is about the company data is about the business data is about the uh, corporate right all over the corporate for example Users are using different apps, including uh, Teams, SharePoint, OneDrive, Outlook, and any browser-based applications, right? And those are the company applications, or business applications, and I specifically don't want those apps' data to be exposed over the open internet or the internet in short. And even if I am allowing them to access it, but I want that data to be protected by using this policy. And that is when this policy comes in picture and this uh, captures that user experience as well as it does the set of configurations that we are going to put into this policy and accordingly this policy is going to affect that user experience right so you might have seen that uh, i as an end user or maybe you as an end user uh, would not be able to copy some confidential data or any company data from office outlook to your personal gmail or any other outlook applications right even if you are trying to save any files 
in your local phone storage be it uh, google drive or local phone storage right for example a ram on the mobile device it does not allow because because of this policy your company policy company has put an policy on this application and if you try to save any file locally on the mobile device it is simply not allowing it because they have selected only certain applications to allow you to save the data or the applications or the particular data on that particular storage locations right and that is when it is going to let you to do that so for now i'm going to create this for windows similarly i would show you for android and for ios applications uh, devices and then i will show you for windows as well but for windows also we would be able to do it or target a specific applications so let's give it a name app protection policy windows so i'm targeting windows devices here and that is when i wanted to give it a name you can add description as well if you like to and then that will give you clarity what this policy does and what is the purpose of this policy is right hit next here we get the option to select the applications which applications i wanted to target out of this policy right so here uh, currently it is searching and probably it would find one or two applications because i haven't added many applications in this policy or uh, particularly for windows uh, for the intune instance for this policy so here we can see one application is already there so simply i can select and add it so this application has been added which is a browser right and next i can go to data protection so here are a bunch of options one is for data transfer second is for functionality right so under data transfer we have different options includes a receive data from send org data to allow cut copy paste for right so for example send receive data for from what are the different sources i wanted to receive a data right so in this case i would keep it for all the resource all the sources that means the data which is coming from any source uh, be it personal accounts or any other accounts so that is going to allow to be flow through or transfer through by using this policy and there is or there won't be any blocker if i set to no source that means there is no source and anything that is coming out that would be simply blocked and that is going to be uh, blocked as in it won't let users data to deliver on that particular application simply so i'll keep it all sources uh, similar for send org data to so here uh, here are different options again the first is all destinations and the second is no destination so no destination that means it is simply going to stop sending data to any other locations right and if i set to all destinations then it is going to simply let users or people to get the data or the send data from that particular application or device the next is allow cut copy paste for so here it is allowing or asking me which option you wanted to select if i set any destination and any source that means i would be able to copy data from my outlook application and paste it in google drive or maybe gmail or outlook or yahoo any any location it it doesn't matter which location i wanted to paste in or copy from so this means that there is no limitation but if i set to no destination or source then the restriction applies on this and the most important is print or data so whether i wanted to allow people to print or guide data if i set to allow then it is going to let them print any file or anything that they wanted to print if i set it to block it's simply going to block so there is 
there is this thing that it is simply going to block there is no any other actions to take either it to allow it or block it simply so i'll block it because i don't want to let people print any company data right similarly i would also set it to no destination or source so that i don't want people to cut cut copy paste anything from my company or business data to be put or paste and send it on maybe personal personal accounts or personal devices or anything let's click next so here we have health checks so under health checks we get but different options one is with app conditions and second is device conditions so what does it mean the health condition means or health checks means that how we wanted to target applications as well as device along with the device and applications uh, compatibility right for example the app conditions means uh, here are the different or default settings that is set here for example of offline grace period is set to 1440 seconds and then uh, offline grace period set to 90 days and wipe the data after that particular period if the device remains offline for 90 days so similarly we have different options here as well for example disable account when if the account is disabled then simply i wanted to wipe the data on that particular device right and how it is going to wipe the data for example a user has installed outlook on device and user's account is disabled in the tenant right and that means after 90 days or the after uh, next check in not 90 days so 90 days period is for offline period but as soon as the account is disabled and the device comes back online and it tries to check in then it finds that okay so this account is been blocked and is in disabled state that means there is a action to perform so action is what wipe the data simply wiping means it is going to remove all the data from device as well as from the application and there are different conditions so conditions as in uh conditions as in as soon as the device is wiped in many cases it depends on the actual uh, exchange policy so in some cases device gets wiped completely along with the user's personal data as well and in some cases it only wipes the application's data which are relevant to that particular application for example outlook in email or exchange context right and the next is device conditions so under device conditions we have different options here as well for example max allowed device threat level if i select it and then i get the different values be it low medium high or secure so if it, i select secured then what actions i want to take right then let's say block access or wipe data and if i wanted to select high that means simply i would block the access right and this is how we would be able to set the device level conditions to perform on the devices and here you get the bit message as well so it says make sure you are mobile threat defense connector is set up in order to properly secure your organization data based on threat evaluation from the connected mobile threat defense services right and the next line says if your tenant has a connection set up with both defender for endpoint and mdt mtd service on microsoft and do not configure a primary mtd service or there is a conflict when targeting a user the default will be microsoft defender for endpoint so this means that we either should configure defender for endpoint and mtd service which is non microsoft service if not then it is going to redirect to microsoft 
defender for endpoints so now health checks is ready i can go back i mean i can click next and next would be assignment right so assignment would be to assign a group uh, where i would be just simply assigning this policy to a group where i wanted to target for example i am running a pilot program or pilot project for now and i wanted to assign this policy to a group of devices only or group of users so i would be targeting that here and then also i have option to add exclusion or exclude a group of devices and users simply i can just select the device group or users group here and then from here i would be able to let's let me select this group and yep so this would be excluded so here i have one user so this would be excluded out of this policy and click next so here we get the summary of the device of the policy and we can go through the policy summary and see what is correct in case anything i wanted to modify or change i can go back and modify it and even after creation of the policy i would be able to modify the policy as well so let me go ahead and click create button so it's creating policy and as soon as the policy is created you get this pop up saying policy created successfully and you can just come back here and you should have that policy here so let's say app protection policy for windows yep, this one so this is the policy that we have created now and here under manage we see the properties so under properties we get all the settings and configurations and from here we would be able to edit or modify anything for example i wanted to change in basics i would be able to do that similarly apps data encryption or data protection then health checks then assignment and then scope tags right so i get the option to change everything after policy creation as well so i don't have to rely on the same thing again as an as once i create the policy right i would be able to come back and see and change it and the next is help and support so under help and support so this option which is diagnostic and solve problems we have this option everywhere everywhere as in across the different features within intune and if in case you need any help any any problem that you are facing you can simply open a ticket with microsoft basis on your infrastructure so if you have hybrid infrastructure then you would be able to create configuration manager then you would be able to create intune for intune environment only and if you have dos 365 cloud pc then you can simply open a case from here so these are the different options that microsoft has put in place to open a case with them in case you need any help any support any questions anything that you wanted to get information as well as help and support they would be able to help you all right so this is all about the app protection policy for windows and yep i think uh, that is it i hope you will like this video and if you have any questions any support or anything you need you can put in comment and do like share and subscribe to the video thanks for watching bye for now